Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In today's video, we will be discussing five internal auditor interview questions. But before we do that, just a quick disclaimer, these questions are not guaranteed to be asked at your interview. I've pulled all of today's questions and answers from our website, mockquestions.com. Now, let's get started. Question number one, why do you want to be an internal auditor? This question is a way for the interviewer to find out a little bit about what makes you tick. Be honest and direct. Don't give a phony answer that the interviewer will see through. Try to tie the roles and responsibilities of an internal auditor to your background. Since I was young, I've always liked math and have been good with numbers. I took an accounting class in high school and really enjoyed it. The concepts came naturally to me. As I researched careers in accounting, Auditing really appealed to me because it is almost like being an accounting detective. Furthermore, I would enjoy working for one company as opposed to multiple clients. Given this, I think working as an internal auditor will be a great way to apply my skill set in math and accounting to an exciting career. Question number two, where do you see yourself in five years? This question is a good opportunity to highlight that you want to continue growing professionally and help the organization grow. This question is not a good opportunity to say you want the interviewer's role. The interviewer is trying to see that you have goals for your career. If I am fortunate enough to be hired for this role, my goal in the near term is to learn as much as possible about our organization. An internal auditor has a unique opportunity to learn about the policies and procedures of many departments, and that is insight that I will not take for granted. I would also like to be viewed as a leader in the organization by my colleagues. As long as I am growing professionally and acquiring new knowledge and skills, I believe I would be very happy. Question number three. What would you do if during an audit you found an accounting practice that was suspicious? This is an opportunity to highlight your integrity and honesty. The high level answer should be obvious that the concern must be addressed immediately. If I was working on an audit and discovered a practice that I found questionable, I would immediately voice my concern to my manager. As a more junior internal auditor, perhaps I was misinterpreting the situation. If not, my manager would provide good counsel on next steps to resolve the issue situation. The most important thing is to be honest and ethical, two character traits that I am proud to say I possess. Question number four, what is the purpose of the internal audit function? This question is an opportunity to show what you know about the profession of internal auditing. In addition to mentioning the purpose of internal audit, also mention some key responsibilities. Internal audit teams exist to offer risk management to an organization by catching errors, flaws, and fraud before an external audit is conducted. The Sarbanes-Oxley Act amplified the need for internal audit functions by requiring management of a company to certify in writing that the financial statements are accurately presented. Internal audit teams help give management confidence in the financials by evaluating the effectiveness of internal controls, corporate governance, and accounting processes. Question number five, what is the difference between fraud and error? This is a technical topic covered in the auditing standards under AUC section 240. During your internal auditor interview, you may be asked various technical questions. The key difference between fraud and error is that the former is intentional and the latter is unintentional. There are two main types of fraud that an internal auditor should be concerned with, fraudulent reporting and misappropriation of assets. The main difference between fraud and error is that fraud is intentional and errors are unintentional. As internal auditors, we are primarily concerned with financial misstatements that are caused by fraudulent financial reporting and misstatements that are caused by theft and other misappropriation of assets. Thank you for watching. If you want more internal auditor interview questions, then head over to mockquestions.com today and get started.